today we are going to discuss about downy mildew genera so let us know about what is mildew first mildew is nothing but any disease that is spread throughout the leaf total leaf is spreaded so it is called as mildew disease and the downy mildew is nothing but under surface of the leaf at the under surface of the leaf you will find the downy mildew at the earlier stages as a patches and then they will coalesce and will spread to the upper surface too uh, also and results in results in leaf shedding downy mildew genera belongs to lower fungi that is umaicota so here here it is saying that umaicota will produce as the it is a lower fungi so it produces o spores and juice spores and sporangia based on uh, sporangia is produced upon the sporangia spores so based on sporangia four structures here the downy mildew genera is classified into six genera downy mildew has six genera so now we are going to discuss about each genera now here let us discuss about the sclerospora example for the sclerospora it this is sclerospora gramnicola it is downy mildew of bajra uh, also called as the green ear of bajra and the uh, here it is a downy mildew genera so it has a sporangia four sporangia four is stout stout it is bulged at the middle so it is stout and having the upright branches and bearing this sporangia sterigmata it is called as sterigmata 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 is bearing the sporangia and now let us discuss about the sporangia sporangia is highland without color no color colorless and then it is ovoid and smooth walled and it has a papillate like spine like structures and it is germinated through juice spores which has a motile juice spores of motile so it has a flagella and it will go with and germinate with the juice spores and next one is peronospora peronospora destructor example peronospora destructor downy mildew of onion and this and the sporangia four is dichotomously branched dichotomously branched means it has one branch and it two and again two and it is again two divided into this like dichotomously branched so here you can see the dichotomously branching and it is up to two to seven times two to seven times it is dichotomously branched with this branching pattern also you can observe that it is a acute angle less than 90 degrees less than 90 degrees so it is acute angle branch and let us discuss about the sporangia sporangia same it is highland as in case of sclerospora highland ovoid but it is non papillinate without spines and it is germinate through germ tube which is similar to that of conidia conidia will germinate with the germ tube whereas conidia will germinate with germ tube whereas uh, juice spores or sporangia will germinate through juice spores this is the difference between higher fungi and lower fungi and your peronospora and peronosclerospora both germinate through germ, germ tubes both will germinate through germ tube and act like higher fungi and now let us discuss about the peronosclerospora peronosclerospora is caused by the peronosclerospora sorghi downy mildew of jowar or peronosclerospora maidis downy mildew of maize downy mildew of maize is also called as leaf shedding and sporangia sporangia is erect and stout stout here it is bulged stout short very small short and it is dichotomously branched it is 2 to 5 times as in case of peronospora it is 2 to 7 times per peronosclerospora 2 to 5 times here the name indicates peronospora peronospora so similar characters dichotomously branched acute angle and same high uh, 
it is also germinate through gem tube ovoid ovoid sporangia non papillate sporangia but the difference is elliptical or ovoid sporangia here the sporangia may be elliptical or ovoid that is the difference and then pseudoperinospora pseudoperinospora example pseudoperinospora cubens it is the downy milieu of cucurbits and here the sporangia pseudoperinospora here the name in itself indicating that it is similar to that of pernospora pernospora is also branched at acute acute angles and the difference is blunted tips here in case of pseudo pernospora and uh, sporangia also different that is grayish in color whereas in pernospora it is highland pseudo pernospora it is grayish over papillate and germinate through juice pods except these two pernospora and pernosclerospora all the downy milled genera germinates through juice pods and then plasmopara plasmopora example plasmopara viticola it is the downy milled of grapes here the branching pattern still now we discussed that is every up to pseudopernospora acute angle and now in the plasmopara it is right angled branching here you can observe right angle here you can observe 90 degrees so right angle branching and at the regular intervals here and then again here at regular intervals you can observe the right angled branching and sporangia is ovoid and germinate through juice pods and next bermia bermia example bermia lacutae like, like downy milia of late juice it is dichotomously branched with the tips having the cup like shape or saucer shaped tip saucer shaped tips and it has a four stereogmata where you can observe one two three and four still now there is only two stereogmata and it is ovoid papillate and germinate through juice pores 